Do you have trouble extending your wrist with pain on the front side of the joint, potentially from overuse of weight-bearing exercises on your hands, or maybe falling and trying to catch yourself on the wrist? So let's look at ways to restore this wrist extension through loading of the finger flexors. A commonly overlooked aspect when we're trying to improve wrist extension is the ability for the fingers to extend since the tendons of your wrist flexors move all the way through to the tips of your fingers. So this is a great area to address first, especially if just jamming your wrist into more extension causes more pain here. So let's take a look at some progressions. So we're gonna place the forearm just at the anterior joint line, right on the thigh. And now from here, we're going to keep the wrist in neutral extension and extend the fingers. Now in this position, we can drive isometrically through the finger flexors, resisting this extension. So I'm actively trying to flex my fingers into the hand, ramping up 10, 20 seconds, maybe even longer duration holds here. So this is a great way to start loading the finger flexors at end range without being in a weight bearing position to start improving the space the wrist has to extend. So now we can start introducing more weight bearing using the wall. So I'll place my hand on the wall. The further I place my hand down the wall, the more wrist extension demand there is. So I wanna start off in a range that's not very painful in wrist extension. So I'm gonna place my hand a little bit higher on the wall. So now I can scoop back and start loading my body weight through this hand segment. And then I'm gonna hover the heel of the hand off the wall and then isometrically start driving my fingers into the wall here. Now I can do some dynamic pulses, pulling the heel of the hand off the wall while keeping the knuckles on the wall. I can offload the opposite leg or scoop back to drive a little bit more of my body weight into it. And we're just gonna isometrically hold this position. And over time, I can work my hand segment down the wall a little bit more into more of that wrist extension as long as there's no pain. We can progress to more weight bearing by using the floor. I'm gonna use some towel rolls to elevate the heel of my hand. Think about what we would do if we wanted to minimize the dorsiflexion demand in a squat, we would elevate the heels. Same thing what we're doing. So I'm gonna start in a neutral wrist position, not in too much pronation or supination. And I'm going to just place these towel rolls right here at the heel of the hand and then drive my knuckles down toward the ground. Now, from here, again, we can drive isometrically, pushing the fingers into the ground, trying to lift this heel of the hand. I can move over this way a little bit more to drive more load into those finger flexors, as long as there's not too much wrist extension pain here. And this towel roll, once again, is taking us out of that wrist extension demand. So once this is comfortable, we can now go into more of a pronated hand position which is going to introduce more demand for wrist extension. And then same thing, elevate the heel of the hand, drive the knuckles down toward the ground. We can scoot back and then load our body weight forward, isometrically drive the fingers into the ground. And we can do some dynamic pulses here as well. Heel of the hand hovering off the towel rolls and then back down. Or we could just hover the hand off the towel rolls isometrically, whatever is prescribed. And then the final progression here, once wrist extension starts to become a little bit less irritable, we can now elevate the fingers and keep the heel of the hand on the ground. Again, trying to drive the knuckles into the ground as we extend the wrist maximally. And now again, we can isometrically push these fingers into the towel roll, trying to hover the hand off the ground, introducing a lot of loading into the finger and wrist flexors. And then eventually we can do this on one arm, holding that position. Then as a final progression, using the foam roller, trying to drive our knuckles toward the ground, even though it's gonna be way too extreme of a range of motion to reach the ground. So pushing fingers into the roller, trying to hover the heel off the ground if we can. We can use some hand support to achieve that. So give these progressions a try and let me know how your wrist and fingers feel after.